So here we are in the third video of the Orbit series and continuing from where we left off before. So previously we created this nice spiral going around the Statue of Liberty. And if I run this preview, what you'll see is it's looking at the base of the, the statue the whole time. And that might be exactly what you want, but sometimes it's not. So, and you can see this, as I move this, you can see the gimbal angle here changing quite significantly. But what if you wanted to fly around something and let's, let's assume it was a, a tower and you just wanted to capture data facing straight on to the tower. So what you do here is you kill this. Uh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to get rid of the, um, I'm going to keep the final altitude, but I'm going to get rid of the final radius. I'm going to bring the radius in. So because we're assuming it's a tower, so you want to be close. So let's just bring it in again, click on advanced. You can see we've got four rotations, but now we can add gimbal orientation. So by default, it's looking minus 27 degrees. But if I wanted to look straight on, I could just change that to zero. And now the camera is looking straight on at the Statue of Liberty. We can run the mission preview. And this time what you'll see is it flies around. And this, this is one of those things that would actually be better showing in Google Earth. So I'm going to do that right now. Yep. And here we are flying around the Statue of Liberty, but facing straight in, still climbing, still climbing up, but facing directly on to the Statue of Liberty. So now we've covered how to keep the gimbal angle fixed as you're climbing and also how to keep the gimbal angle pointed at the base. But what if you wanted the gimbal angle to point 50 feet high? because the framing wasn't quite as you hoped. Um, you can't actually do that with a fixed gimbal angle. So we're going to get rid of this gimbal pitch of zero. And instead, we're going to add a point of interest. And we're going to drop a point of interest right into the center here. Now, by default, the point of interest is going to be at zero. So if I click on the point of interest, set altitude offset. And now I can change the altitude offset to say 50. And what will happen now is the drone will fly around and it will still point into the center, but instead of looking at the ground, it's going to look 50 feet up in the air. And this is actually a great way to adjust the framing. Um, if you find that the gimbal angle just isn't quite what you're after. I should also mention that the point of interest doesn't actually have to be in the center. You could, you could have it off center and the drone would correctly track that as it moves around, uh, giving some quite strange, but uh, perhaps interesting effects. So if I run a mission preview with our 50 foot offset and I'm going to export to Google Earth to give us a better view of this. And now, as you can see, we're flying around and we're, we're still tracking, but instead of tracking to the ground, we're now tracking to an altitude of 50 feet. So somewhere around about here. So that's it. Feel free to reach out with any questions and uh, I hope you found this useful.